the video. In this video, we'll show you how to use the widget and overview on how to bring it into Titan Web, make full use of it, make it look pretty, all that kind of stuff. So widget is under, if you click on the plus, under widget, you will find a widget, right? Let's drag it over. Now, the first thing you will be asked to do is where do you want to bring the data back from Salesforce? Now, you can do this static. Um, you can also do dynamic. I'm going to show you dynamic because static is very easy to explain. So let's say I've got an opportunity. And uh, let's go back to Salesforce and pick, a, pick an opportunity that we can work with. I think I've got one available here. It's called, uh, let's see, Microsoft. Yeah, that's a good one. So what you can do is go back into here. Say I want to bring back from opportunity. You can say my opportunity name must equal Microsoft, like that. Click next. Actually, I will do equals, not contains. And then what I want to do is I want to bring back the title text. So the text will be the name of my opportunity. The context text can be, I don't know, the opportunity amount. You can do uh, allow subtext. You can do subtext. You can also bring back an icon from Salesforce. I'm just going to use subtext for now. And we'll bring back description. Click apply, and just like that, my widget is now ready. So let's click save and show you just a quick preview of what it looks like. So if you have a look now, it's going to go and load my data from Salesforce, bring back what I'm looking for, and voila, just like that. Okay, there's your name, there's the amount, and there is a sub text to it. Now you can do a lot of different things here as well. For example, you can go to settings. And configure your mapping directly. You can also select an icon. Let's say if I want to give this an icon, um, you can do, by the way, dynamic, or you can do um, um, static, like I am here. So look, there's an icon. It appears at the top. If I click save, click preview, and just refresh this, you can see it will bring back the icon over here. And you can also bring this icon back dynamically, or you can bring it statically. It's up to you completely. Um, if you if you want to set your custom icon, you can also do that. Let's say, um, for example, I bring an image, right? So what we'll go to is we'll do go to media, drag over an image, and again, you can render it from Salesforce. You can even upload it, or you can get a URL. Let's say I do Microsoft image, right? We'll go over here, pick like an image here for you, like this, and then we'll just get copy image address, and then uh, let's just chuck that in here. We'll go ahead and read it. It hasn't found anything, so what we'll do is we'll take this one. Copy image address. Directly go back into here. Here's my image. Click apply. And then I can just move it above here. Now I need to understand that in the layer list, this needs to be up. Well, actually, it's fine where it is. So click on it. Just move it over here quickly. And I'll show you that you can make this look as pretty as you want really it's really up to you it's fully customizable so right now let it render I know there's a two icons there at the moment but let's go and get rid of that icon so change image we don't want to change an image in fact what I want to do is go back to interactivity uh, you can also do animation by the way if you see fit if you want to do that uh, but let's go back in here and then we'll select icon. I don't actually want an icon, so we'll say uh, we'll say no icon in in here di directly. So I'll just use like a random field in here for now. Click save. Let's go ahead and preview and just get rid of the icon directly from um, there. So as you can see, like it looks really, really nice because you can completely render the widget, bring back an image, bring back the name, some data. You can also do this repeater, so you can bring back multiple opportunities, and it looks really, really nice. Um, but that's just a widget overview in general. You can configure an icon, you can add your text, subtext. As I explained earlier, you can do that statically here as well. You can also write conditions. You can also say, you know, if let's say my field name here is this, um, directly equals something, then either take them to another page. You know, you can do go to page. You can do redirect, show message, post message. All of these are shot separately, so you should be able to know how to do those. Um, again, if you want to configure your get, you can do that. You can also add animations. Let's say I do back and left like that. 
and then I click save so let's preview let me show you how cool this is we'll leave the icon there drag that in and voila this is how the animation looks really, really nice as well uh, what else um, there's your metadata if you want to tag it um, again this is just the widget and this is just like the tip of the iceberg there's so much you can do with it um, but yeah widget for you in Titan